Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you again. Nice. Very, very good. The same for you, teacher. Good. So we're going to wait. Hear you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you once again. Very, very nice. I'm very happy that you continue with the classes and that you are almost done. So that is a very good thing. Yeah, that's right. Good. Let's wait just one or two more minutes and then we're going to start. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So my name is Eric Asensio. Uh, for some of you, I don't know if everybody, but some of you, we know each other. So that is it's very nice that I am here with you again. Uh, in case you don't know me, of course, we're going to have some time uh, for us to introduce ourselves. So uh, first thing that we're going to check is about the platform, okay? So this is the platform. Uh, this is the advanced number five. Of course, you will see that there are four sections. And the section number two is the one that is kind of large, right? Because remember that we are going to be together five weeks. So this one has double the homeworks and double the videos. Um, but I, I guess you know that already. Since this is the advanced, starting the intermediate is going to be this way. And, uh, well, the first question I have for you is, do you have already access to the platform in this module? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So everybody has the access. Nobody's missing or has a problem for you to log in. No, no problem. Very good. Also here you will find the manual, the student's manual. So just click there and you will be able to see the book and download it if you want it. Also, uh, there in the in the group is already the, the book for you to, in the link of the group uh, for you to download the, the book in case you want to print it or if you want to have it there. So it's going to be good for you just to check into that one. So, okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to check the attendance. Let me just check here. Okay, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. 
Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Okay, perfect. So, then we're going to start with the presentation. So, uh, in case you have, uh, sometimes what happens on the first classes is that people, they do not have access to the group or maybe they don't know that we are starting. So, if by any chance you have the contact of the other people, you can let them know, share the link for the WhatsApp group and let them know that we already start the classes, okay? And well, this part is something that you already know, but this is something that we need to check. Okay, so we're almost done on the English classes. So this is very, very good, right? So we are in the module number five from the advanced English. So very nice. Um, you know this already, but so something we, we need to check into that one anyway. So well, we need to get the 80% of average of the homeworks and evaluation so you can finish the course uh, satisfactory. So you know that this is very important. I know that you have the experience and of course you will be doing that one. Homeworks are in the platform, so it's the one that we checked already. And we need to finish the uh, homeworks after the class. I remember that sometimes we need to, we just have the class and then we don't have any homework, but you can move on, not that much, but you can advance in a little bit in that if you want. Uh, all the homeworks are from the topics that we are going to check in the classroom and it has to be finished every, uh, the whole week has to be finished on Fridays, right? So, because remember that on Saturdays uh, in the morning, in the early morning, I send that to the, to the INSA uh, so they need to know about that one, okay? And uh, the time or the date for us to finish the midterm test is going to be April 14. You know that vacations are coming. I was checking, um, I was checking about the calendar and uh, according to what I saw here in the calendar, it seems that we are not going to have classes the whole week. So we're going to have classes two weeks and then we have the vacations pause, and then we have three more weeks. Uh, but this is what I checked on the calendar. So, uh, of course, you are going to receive a notification from Inglés Corporativo, so you know exactly how it's going to work. But according to what I saw, that is going to be the case. And the limit, um, the due date for the final test is going to be uh, April the 28th. That is the date that we're going to finish this course. Okay, so it's the very last one. Of course, as you remember, we um, do that on Thursday. So on Friday, if there is a problem or if something's going on, we can check that together. So Thursday is going to be the day. The amount, um, well, you know, the book is, is possible to download it from the platform. So we don't use any material from outside of the one that we have already. Hey, hello, Ana Claudia. Welcome. Okay. So, also remember that, and you know this already, of course, that you need to have the whole name uh, in the Zoom platform, right? So, we don't have any listener, but in case somebody's a listener, you have to add the word listener. Uh, we need to have the camera on throughout all the session. That is a very important thing. If you are hungry, I know that sometimes you come from work and things like that. Well, you can have your dinner. That is not a problem. You can have coffee. You can drink something. I mean, that is not a problem. So I know that sometimes it's difficult and it's very good that you're here, but don't worry. I mean, you can eat and uh, I mean, that won't be any problem. Um, of course, you know that you, if you are not participating, the microphone has to be muted. So that is also very important. And well, since we are in, in the advanced model, of course, you are going to speak a lot more than me, right? So. That is something that we need to do. So at this point, we need to just practice and practice. Of course, we're going to check some grammar, some things, and uh, some questions might arise about the grammar, but it's very important for you to participate in the class. Do you have any questions so far? 
No question, teacher. No, teacher. Oh, okay, let's continue. Remember that the attendance should be 100% to the classes. I know that sometimes some students, they say, teacher, I won't be able to come to the class because I have an emergency. I would say yes. But remember that the ones who don't want to, or they, they cannot provide any permission is in support. So, I mean, for me, not a problem. Uh, my recommendation for you is that even if you are working and if you have something going on, connect to the class, even if you are not able to participate. But I hope you participate because that is the purpose of being here, right? Okay, we need to be here the 120 minutes of the class. So the, remember that uh, here in Zoom, we are able to record how many minutes are you in the in the meeting. So that is going to be also in the report that is a fourth is going to be. Okay, uh, the attendance will be taken two times. One is going to be at the beginning of the class, there is says 820, but it's not exactly at 820. So what I do, I usually do is we check the platform and then I check the attendance and then we move on to the, with the class. And then at the end of the class, so it's going to be around 955, something like that. Okay, of course, you know that you have to answer, right? So the assistance is valid. So you can say whatever you want to, whenever I say your name. Uh, as usual, we're going to have one -on ones at the end of the class. So the one for today is going to be for Anna Cloud, that is the first one in the list. And uh, it's going to be 10 minutes. Okay. If, oh, good. <laughs> If one day you can stay, you can schedule. I mean, that is no problem. We can switch. Uh, since you are only 15 people, the last five days is going to be like open. Whoever wants to stay, you can stay. Not a problem. Okay. There are no permissions again. So, I mean, I can say, yes, of course, I understand. Because I understand that you have an emergency. But INSA Forbes says that there are no permissions available. Okay. And uh, the mute again. Uh, I know that sometimes some things happen, right? So we hear the uh, bread person selling bread on the street, so that is not a problem. So, but whenever you are not participating, just mute the uh, the class. Uh, the camera should be on. The chat is available. Sometimes we are going to use breakout rooms. Uh, you can raise your hand and ask at any time. Uh, also, remember that you can ask in the group if you have questions about anything, and also you can chat with me directly in the WhatsApp, okay? So, um, and that is it. Do you have any questions so far? No teacher. No teacher, no questions. No questions. As we say before, clear as or chat, right? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start the class. It's a pleasure to be with you. I guess I know most of you. I don't know if I don't, I have some people that I don't know. So with the first thing that we're going to do then is to introduce ourselves as we do usually. So I'm going to start. I'm going to be the first one. When you introduce yourself, remember that you are going to say who you are, what you like to do, if you want to speak about some hobbies, uh, anything like that. Where are you from? Um, something I would like to ask you is, okay, you almost finish the whole program, the English classes. You are almost done. The question I have for you is, what are you going to do whenever you finish this course? That's something that I want to know. So I'm going to start. Hello, my friends. This is Eric Asensio. I am from Santana, but I live right now in San Salvador because... I am not working from home anymore, sadly. So I have to stay here so I can be on time to my job. Um, I really like music. Rock music is my favorite, but I listen to other kind of music. I like to eat a lot. I like to cook. I like to read. I like to... I mean, I'm very active. I do lots of things. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, for me to meet you again and Nice to meet you to the ones that I don't know. Um, what I'm going to do after this, uh, this course ends, well, we'll continue teaching because I'm the teacher, right? I'm not going to do something else. <laughs> okay, uh, so it's a pleasure. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can ask. Questions for me? No questions? No questions. I have a question. I don't know if for you, uh, this is 
the last module in advanced or there are another one? As I understand, there is another one that is the advanced uh, six. And then there is the preparation for the TOEFL. And then yes, it's yes. the TOEFL. And then okay. you're done. You go ahead, sorry. Okay, very good. Do you have any other questions? Okay, very good. So now is your turn. Who wants to start and introduce yourself? Me, teacher. Okay, David, let's listen to David. Uh, my name is uh, David, and I'm a math teacher. I like to read. I don't like to cook because I can't. I only do, I only make a hot case <laughs> with that kind of floor that is already done. It's a, have anything. You know, you only add water and put in the pan and then you cook it. This is the only thing that I can cook and boil water for, for course. <laughs> and uh, I, I like to read, uh, mainly read. I like watch uh, movies, but movies that are, that have an, an interesting argument. I think that's all, teacher. Okay. I am from... I am from from Metapan near near from Santana, but I now I live in Santa Tecla, but I I am Calero. <laughs> nice, that's very good. Yeah, okay. I have to go to Metapan. I have, it's been a while that I haven't been there. Uh what are you gonna do whenever you finish the classes? The whole okay, uh, I I have an, a challenge. I I have a teach in my school in the, in the college. I, I teach no college, it's a school. It's a school because college is university, yeah. But yeah. we we say college here in El Salvador, but yeah. in the school. Uh, middle and high school. I I I almost teach all the all the subjects. I teach uh, uh, math, I teach science, I teach language, but I want to teach uh, some of the uh, English subject, specific English subjects like uh, history, or like uh, uh, something like grammar, something like that. This is my challenge, and for that reason, I I, I teach in uh, eighth and ninth grade. Uh, I use I use books, English books, but I teach most of the time in Spanish because the students need to know the American system and the national program. For that reason, I teach more, mostly Spanish, Spanish sometimes, some more in English, but uh, I want to teach a subject that is only or only English. It is my challenge. Very good, that is very interesting. And sometimes, you, let me tell you that it's kind of difficult. I mean. I've been teaching also in schools, and I remember that I used to teach, for example, social studies. It's not that complicated, but science, I mean, the name of the birds and the name of the plants and procedures and chemistry. I mean, that is, there are many, <laughs> many words that is like, wow, how do you pronounce that word? Something like that. So it's a very good challenge, the one they have. Very good. Okay, so thank you. Perfect. Thank you, David. Who wants to be the next one? Everybody's going to make it, of course. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is mm -hmm. my name is Ana Claudia. I'm so sorry to hear that you no longer work from home. <laughs> yeah, me too, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I still work. I'm still working from home. Thank so God. Lucky. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm living here in Santa Ana, but my job is located in San Salvador. But as working at home, I am staying here. I stay here at home. Uh, there is no due day for us to come back. I haven't heard that. And uh, I, what I'd like to do, I, if you ask me now, sleep. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> yeah. rest my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, vacation we had like one week and a half I guess it was it, it, it was oh it was nice because believe it or not the brain is like oh my god that just <laughs> uh, working extra effort but it but it worth it it worth it uh, what I would like to do after 
Well, after finishing these courses, there is an another one for preparation, right? Yep. Mm, my yeah, now my my goal in midterm is to pass that that test, that exam, because uh, uh, I, I heard people that yes, they made it and, and they passed, but I heard other ones that they say that uh, they f feels like uh, complicated, but it depends. So my midterm goal is to take that test and, and pass it. And after that, maybe look for books in English to read. That would be something that I will start to do because I haven't checked the Mm, that um, as a as a good custom, they say in that way, as a good uh -huh, way to do things. So that it will be. But I'm still working at home, and and I continue, and I hope that it will be in the same way during a long time. Yeah, I hope so as well because it's amazing. You know, it's mm -hmm. amazing to be at home. I mean, uh, the building there is nice, and we have lots of things. But there is no place like home. So <laughs> exactly. No, yeah. and being community is like a, yeah. it's madness. Yeah, you I know. heard that the traffic jam is is not the same that neither before pandemic. Now it's so terrif terrible. Oh yeah, that is so true. I mean, um, if I take my car, for example, where I, I, I live here in Merliot and the office is in Cascas. In the car is five minutes with no traffic, but during the weeks, I mean, sometimes there's forty minutes. <laughs> wow! Crazy, crazy. Yeah. Wow! Yes, it's so near. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very near, but I mean, the traffic I mean, is 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 not good. And anyway. I guess it's because of the schedule. You your shifts are right. I guess I guess it will be in there. Yeah, that is so true. I mean, yeah. In the past, maybe the, the week of the vacation, that is going to be very nice because schools are going to be resting and some people from their jobs. So th those days are going to be very nice. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's, and we're just starting the year. So that's going to be very, very, very complicated. Well, I didn't remember that you were from Santa Ana. Where do you live in Santa Ana? Yes, I'm living here in Santa Ana in... A... Well, I my 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 in Reparto Santa Julia. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I don't know if good. you know. Yeah, it's yeah. like living in Santa Ana City. Uh huh. Nice, very good. I used to live there when I was a kid. I'm not oh, there in Santa Julia, really? but I, in the in the entrance of Ibu, I I was living there. Yes, you know? I'm next to Ibu. Mm -hmm. Yes, next to Ibu. Yes. Oh, I used to live there too. Maybe we saw each other in the past, but we didn't. Yes, know. maybe you were my neighbor. And I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be. A possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Okay. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Okay. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay. Me? Yeah. 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 Go ahead. And then okay. we're going to check with her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My name is Ileana. I, I remember that I have the pleasure to be with you in. Uh, two courses ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm from Santa Tecla. I work, I don't work from home, sadly, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's okay. And right now, what I like to do is, well, I'm trying to to take like a, a new kind of lifestyle. I'm trying to go to the gym. And this week is like the early, the early routine. I woke up uh 4 30 and i oh, went to the gym to to five with my bestie and yeah i'm trying to do that because recently i um i didn't feel well like the past uh weeks and my doctor um did some some tests and uh, she diagnosed me with Hypothyroidism. I don't know how to say that in English. Hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism. And yeah, I have to to take um, some treatment and I'm trying to do the the exercises or, or that the routine of the gym because I have to take care of myself. So I'm trying to do that. And right now I focus on that to my, my health. 
in my work. And yeah, that's all. And I'm very excited that we are almost at the end of the of this journey. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Eliana. Yes, and well, uh, it's very good that you found that one early, uh, and then you will be able to to work on that one. Health is very important, uh, and going to the gym is amazing. You know, I I don't have the time, but I go. I I go uh, whenever I finish. The good thing is that there in the in the in my work there is a gym, so I just finish and go to the next room and go to the gym, and then uh, at least. 40, 50 minutes, that is good enough. So if you have the time, I know that it's difficult. It's, I mean, because sometimes we're so busy, right? And we have to find the time. And it's going to, I mean, it's, it's difficult. But if you have the, I mean, the chance to do it, it's going to help you not only on that one, but in many, many things, of course. And I remember that you used to like a lot, a lot of soda. Do you still drink a lot of soda? No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As That's the old, the old Ileana, the new Ileana <laughs> loves water. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That's very good for you. I'm very happy that you have changed yeah. and that you are on the path that you're doing that one. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Wilfredo. Ah, okay, go ahead. Okay, my name is Jose Wilfredo de Alasorto. I'm working from home. Uh, this last 2003, uh, the last three years ago, I'm still working at home uh, so far. So um, what I like to do is play soccer, go to the gym, uh, do exercise. So I try to live a, a healthy life. But most of the time, I eat a junk food. Uh, then um, my challenge maybe will be after after learned a lot English because we don't stop to learn. Uh, we learn something new every day. Maybe learn another language. Maybe that's will will be my my challenge for the next year, I guess, or it uh, could be for the next two or three month in advance. Very nice. And which language would you like to learn? I don't know. I'm I'm still thinking could be French or even uh, uh German. Uh, German is amazing. German is yeah. very good. It's kind of difficult because grammar is very similar to the Spanish one, but it's very, very good. Yeah. Maybe one of those languages will be the next. Right. So that's good that you are projecting yourself for the future. So it's very nice. Yeah. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you and welcome back, Jose Wilfredo. Thank you, teacher, as well. It's Thank nice you. to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. We're still here. <laughs> so who wants to be the next one? I'm going to choose. Let's see Dora Elizabeth. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, my name is Dora Elizabeth. I work, I work in an office account. And I like, uh, I like um, watch movies, read. And sometimes I I make a exercise in the morning. Very good, interesting. So you're an accountant, you like numbers. And uh, what are you going to do whenever you finish the course? Uh, I don't know <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we still have time to think about that one. So first thing that we need to do is to finish, right? That's, that's... Yes. That's good. Nice. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, who's missing? Fernando Marvin Gonzalez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. So, well, my name is Fernando Gonzalez. Um, talking about home office, I have um, 
a mixed schedule. So I had to go to the office two or three days per week by now, but in the future, who knows? Um, sometimes, teacher, uh, I won't be able to, to participate because, you know, the traffic is very, very, very terrible. So, but I try to, to stay connected oh. only as a listener. So talking about me, I like reading. I like watching series, watching movies. Um, I like to learn a lot. So after this this course, sincerely, I hadn't thought about it, but I don't know, maybe maybe I, I will start a new career because I had, I need, no, I like to explore a new area. So uh, since la, the last year, I have the idea, so the idea about start a, a career in in law. So maybe in the future, <laughs> maybe I I I will be a lawyer. I don't know. A second career is good. So and re, and and I I really like to to have an office in my in my in my house. And my my career is in IT area, so but. There is a lot of uh, a lot of office in 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 this area, and I think that a lawyer is necessary. And I, for example, in my in my blog, I don't have anyone, so it's a good opportunity. Maybe in the future, I will have. So that's it. Okay, perfect. Sounds like a plan. It's, it's very interesting. I mean, yeah. A uh, different career, something that is totally different from the one that you're doing right now. Of course, that sounds like a very good thing to do. Good, good, perfect. So let's listen now to William Alexander. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. My name is William. Um, I am from Metapan. Uh, I'm working here in Santa Tecla. I'm living here in San Salvador. Uh, what I like to do is uh, practice some sports. Uh, I really like to play soccer and do some exercise. I like to watch some movies and read. And that's it. Okay. And what are your plans whenever you finish the courses? Um, keep learning and improving my English. Okay. Very good. That sounds very good. Nice, perfect. Thank you, William. Okay. So let's listen now to Wendy Patricia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Well, um, uh, my name is Wendy, and I live in Santa Ana. And I am psychology and I work in the Fruit of the Loom in Salvador. And I like to uh, stay with my family in my house. I love the, the free time and I love the, the I like to tourist in the, in the countries or other countries. And uh, I, I, I wish or, or, or I want to finish English because I want to close the cycle, cycle in my life. I study English science, uh, have I studied in the university and I want to finish. And I will take time to sleep and enjoy with my family the free time next to the Finnish uh, uh, English. Okay, yeah, we need to rest, right? Because I know that it's very difficult to be here until 10, 10, 10. Um, and then the next day to work. work. Yes, teacher. I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I understand you. Nice Very to good. meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Perfect. Let's check Fernando Ernesto. Uh, good, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Uh, I am a sister engineer. I work as a iOS developer. 
I am from San Salvador. I like to play soccer or listen to music. And maybe after finishing this sport, maybe I would like to take some uh, English courses of my area. Uh, maybe there are some new programming languages or some new technologies. Uh, maybe before I I couldn't take because because the the language I now maybe I I would like to take and I will understand all uh, all that I hear in, in the courses and learn more about it. That sounds like a very uh, good plan. I mean, to specialize and know uh, different things about your area, that is going to be something that is, it sounds like a very good next step because you know the basic right now, I mean, the general English, and then whenever you specialize, of course, it's going to help you with your work. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Fernando. Okay, let's check uh, Roxana Yvette. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I'm a little sick. I think that you can hear me. Yeah. Yeah, well, my name is uh, Roxana Metasencio. I live in San Salvador. And uh, right now I'm working in uh, counting Bibles. And I like to spend time with my family when I have a uh, little time or uh, my hobby maybe i guess is traveling around the world when i have when i have a couple of days and my goal to say here is um, improve my english and maybe uh, in the future i get a better job position and maybe I can apply for a, another a job in an, I, I can looking for a job in another country, maybe. That is. Very good. That sounds like a very good plan. I hope you get better uh, very soon. Very nice to see you again. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Juan Miguel Brown. Hey teacher, how are you? Nice to meet you again. And nice all of you guys mm -hmm. too. Um, okay, my name is Juan Miguel Brand. Um, I work in a Maritime Port Authority here in San Salvador, and I live here in San Salvador also. Um I like to uh, talking about my hobbies, I like to play video games. Uh, obviously I spend time with my family going to some uh, some place for fun uh, listening to music uh, and obviously uh, trying to to study and improve my my English level yeah uh, I think this this opportunity is... Uh, is a great opportunity in order to improve to improve the uh, our English level. Yeah, so I I am trying to to uh, to make my my best in order to to pass this course and obviously uh, to finish this uh, this advanced level in order to prepare myself to the um to the toic yeah teacher toic but well, i guess uh, it's going to be the toffle oh the toffle yeah okay so uh this is this is me Perfect. i am what you see <laughs> nice yeah we know we know so very good to see you again and welcome to the class okay teacher thank you and thank you guys Nice. Let's check Jose Osmin Rivas. Yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay, hey, please introduce yourself. Tell us about what you like to do and what will you do after the, sure. the classes. Sure. Um, Jose Osmin Rivas. I live in San Jose, Guayabal. 
So I really like to play soccer and also watching some videos when I have time, actually. And as well, I am working from home too. Uh, I have the opportunity to do it. Um, and also after this course, yeah, I'm planning to like, study a different language, like probably French, or as well, I would like to improve like my Excel skill. So I want to like get more knowledge about it. I think and so to try to, to apply for the for an Excel course too. After this, uh, English, uh, program. Very nice, actually. Yeah, Excel is wonderful. You know, I really love Excel. You can do so many things in that one. So, yeah, it's something that I recommend you. So, if you have the time, definitely you can expertise on that one. So, very good, perfect. Thank you. Yep, yeah. you're welcome. Let's check Luis Albert, Steve. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my name is Steve Canales. Um, I live in, in San Salvador. I'm from San Salvador, too. And um, I work as an analyst of compliment at Bad Cuckoo Scotland. Um, I like to go out with my dogs uh, at the park every day. It's, it's a kind of love for for my dogs. Uh, in after, uh, before and after uh, to work, I go out with my dogs at the park every day. It's, it's a lot. Um, I like to play guitar. Um, I like to read. Sometimes I don't have any time. I don't have time. Uh, I but I list. I listen a good book. Um. What else? Um. This is a a good opportunity to me for improve my English because I study English uh, some years ago. Um. I need to improve, really, I need to improve to be more fluently um, in order to speak with um, other persons. And this is an opportunity. And what else? That's all. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Luis Steve Bonilla. It's a pleasure to meet you and welcome to the group. My pleasure. My pleasure, too. Perfect. So now it, this is it. So we're together and that is very nice. So we're going to start. Let me tell you something. Since this is the end of the, of the classes, what we're going to do is we're going to try to participate a little bit more. So every Friday, my friends, every Friday, you are going to bring to the class two or three words, words that are not common. And you are going to explain those words and provide examples. Okay. So that is something that we're going to do every single Friday. Do you have questions about the activity for Fridays? No, too sure. Okay, very good. So everybody, please remember to bring two, three words maximum and explain the words to the class. And then we're going to start with the class anyway. So let's see how it goes. And the first one says determiners, order, and another. So I guess we are not going to have the chance to go further into that one, but it's no big deal. Anyways, the first topic is what is an entrepreneur? What is that, my friends, in your own words? I mean, an entrepreneur is uh, somebody that uh, have an idea, had a, a vision, and uh, then uh, get the the materials or the resources that uh, he needs and uh, put in a, that, that idea to work. And uh, sometimes, uh, that is the goal, sometimes uh, have some errors uh, about what they are uh, doing. And uh, they start in that way. There are, others, uh, there are others 
uh, people or the people that uh, uh, have an in inheritance and they have all of the need they need to 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 do the the to be an entrepreneur, but uh, the very definition is somebody that started from nothing and get somebody a company, an enterprise, something like that. Very good. That is it. So it's somebody that has an idea and develop the idea, right? You say, I mean, I believe that everybody we have ideas sometimes because that happens to me. I mean, sometimes I'm there sitting down watching TV and then an idea comes to my mind and I say, mm, maybe I have to do that one. Uh, but then the most of us will say, mm, but that I need to research, I need to invest money, I need, uh, and then we say, okay, maybe not, right? But there are many ideas. For example, the last weekend I was thinking, um, well, I could create like a wallet uh, with a pin number. So if I lost the wallet, nobody can open that one. And then, uh, I mean, you won't be able to lose anything. I mean, and you can, uh, on the wallet, on the, on the front, uh, add your phone number or your email address. Uh, it's something that is very, very secure, very nice. But then again, I say, well, I have to research in many things and the technology. Uh, maybe I'm not going to do that one. So <laughs> that happens. That happens. But the entrepreneurs, they are the ones who say, let's do it, right? So sometimes the people that have the ideas, uh, sometimes don't know nothing about how to implement. Uh, but they get the people that know uh, and get involved that people in, in their vision and they can do it. That is so true. That is so true. So very good. So this is the topic that we're going to develop this week. So it's going to be what is an entrepreneur. And of course, the grammar that we're going to check is this and some other. Uh, the determinants other and another, which is not going to be that difficult. So this is the answer about that one, about uh, the ones that are on the book. Steve, Steve Bonilla, could you please help me reading this slide? Okay, uh, uh, what is an entrepreneur? An uh, entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business, bearing most of the risks and enjoying most of the rewards. The process of setting up a business is now, is now as entrepreneurship. The entrepreneur is commonly seen as an innovator, a source of new ideas, goods, services, and business or productions. Procedures. Procedures. Thank you. Uh, please continue. Okay. Entrepreneur play a key role in any economy using the skills and initiative necessary to anticipate needs to bring good new ideas to market. Entrepreneurship that's proves to be successful in taking of the risk of creating a startup in rewarding with profits, fame, and continued ground opportunities. Entrepreneurship that fails results in losses and less prevalence in the market for those involved. Very good, perfect, thank you, Steve. So as you can see here, uh, now that we are in the advance and that we're getting ready for the TOEFL, we need to, to check the way that a paragraph is written. That is very important. As you can see, in these two paragraphs, there are many ideas. I mean, there are a lot of things that are involved here. And this is uh, almost always when you are explaining something at the very beginning or uh, when you are introducing a topic. So that happened. We're going to discuss many things there. So this is like an... an introduction of the topic there are many things that we can discuss about that one but then later on we're going to go step by step layer by layer speaking more in deep in some things so uh, this is what happened here an entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business so that is the first part is an individual who creates a new business bearing most of the risks and enjoying most of the rewards that is the very first part so why is an entrepreneur and as you can see there are two two things here so good things and bad things right so bearing the risks so analyzing you need to make some numbers first right so you need to research and then 
uh, enjoy the rewards so, because I believe that everybody will say, oh, I would like to have my own company, have a lot of money and things and that one. Maybe that is a dream of everybody, but it's not that easy, right? So there are many things and sometimes you have to spend years developing uh, some things so you actually get the money and get the recognition, uh, get the positioning of your product in, in the market. So it's not that easy, right? So the second part is the process of setting up a business is known as entrepreneur. So this is a second idea. This is related, but it's a second thing. So the name of that one is entrepreneurship. And then there is a third idea, and this is just the first paragraph. The entrepreneur is a commonly seen as an innovator, a source of new ideas, good services, and business or procedures. So for you to be an entrepreneur, you need to, to change things or to create new things. Right? Maybe there are things that are already there, but then you add something, you improve that product or service. So as you can see in the first paragraph only, we have three different ideas. And the three ideas are like an introduction for the topic that we will be checking through all the week. So this is something that we do whenever we are going to write about anything right so uh, i i know that in the topic for example we're going to be required to write an essay so the first paragraph is always like this you have like the introduction sometimes there is an hypothesis that you are going to provide and then a possible solution and then you are going to develop that one and on the second one it says entrepreneur play a key role in any economy using the skills and initiative necessary to anticipate needs and bring good new ideas to market. This is again part of the introduction, but this is second paragraph. Sometimes, I mean, when you are introducing a topic, it's not a good idea to have a huge paragraph explaining a lot of ideas. Sometimes you need to divide that in two or three uh, paragraphs. Two is the most normal. Okay, three, only if it's very extensive and you want to really introduce and provide different insights of the things that you're explaining. So this is something that is true. I mean, in El Salvador, I mean, we believe that we don't have entrepreneurs, but there are a lot of entrepreneurs. So maybe the difference is that, uh, I mean, they are very informal, right? But you go to the streets and they are selling products. People are, are doing things, right? Then there is a second idea on the paragraph. Entrepreneurship that proves to be successful in taking on the risks of creating startup is rewarded with profits, fame, and continued growth opportunities. Entrepreneurship that fails results in losses and less prevalences in the markets or those involved. So this is very interesting because here we have two ideas that are related. The first one is something that is positive, right? Something like if you do things nice, you are going to have profits fame, right, growth opportunities. But on the other hand, if you don't do things very well, well, you are not going to have profit. You are going to have loose. And uh, of course, you are going to disappear. So this is very interesting. So this is like an idea of what we're going to be studying. Whenever you have an introductory uh, paragraph or two or three paragraphs, you know what we're going to be discussing. That is what is very important about this part. As usual, when we work together, uh, we're going to check some words and you are going to tell me what is that word. So for example, uh, in the first paragraph it says, bearing most of the risks. What is bearing? Anybody? Evaluate. To evaluate, very well. So you make some numbers, right? Uh, invest. I mean, the markets, they are changing. For example, today I was reading that Amazon is going to fire, I guess it was like 20,000 people. That happens. Big companies, they do that one. Small companies, they do that one. Sometimes it's not a good moment to invest in some products and you need to evaluate the markets. Uh, rewards. What is rewards? Something you receive in change of uh, your efforts. So something extraordinary that you receive in change of your, your effort, your work. Very good. So when you 
create something and you have an effort, like when you go to your job, right? Every 15 days, you receive the money for that one. So that is your reward because you did something and then you have your reward. Very good. Let me say there are not many words here that we can discuss, I guess. I know that you know many of these things. Do you have any questions here? I see some some uh, uh, phrases like uh, key role. Key role is a, a, a one meaning, a two word, but one meaning. That is true. So sometimes that happens. So there are things or words that are together and have a different meaning when they're together, right? Because key is by itself one thing and role by itself is one another thing. But key role is something that is unique and is very, very important, right? So very nice, very good. Do you have any other comment or any other questions here? Okay, so let's move on. Let's see. Um, Dora Elizabeth, could you please help me reading this paragraph? A person who undertakes the risk of starting new business venture in college an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur creates a entrepreneur. Firm, entrepreneur. An entrepreneur creates a firm to realize your idea now it's an inter entrepreneurship which allows capital and labor in order to produce goods or service for profit. An entrepreneurship is highly risky but also can be highly rewarding as a, as a service to general economic wealth, growth and innovation. Ensuring funding is key for entrepreneurs. Financial resources include HPA, loans, and crowdfunding. The way entrepreneurs file and pay tax will depend how they will depend on how their business is set up in terms of structures. Very good, perfect. Dora, tell me. What are the key things that explains this paragraph? So there are things that are very specific that are important for entrepreneurs. So which ones are those? In this case, I think it's the take a risk for uh, uh, win a profit. Okay, that is very important, definitely. So take a risk, so you need to analyze so before you start a new business. Um, what else is important here on this paragraph? Like key. Um, the other is, uh, idea is uh, uh, the capital in labor is for produce uh, goods or services. Okay, very good. So yeah, yeah, the first two parts are like uh, introductory again, but then it says, yeah, what you say is highly risky, but also can be highly rewarded. This is something like paraphrasing the one that we did before, right? The last two, I believe, are very, very important. Key, ensuring funding is key for entrepreneurs. Why do you believe that is very important? Anybody, this is for everybody. Why do you believe that is key for entrepreneurs to find the funding so they can uh, go out with a with a business? Because it's um, a business, it's not an, a a non profit <laughs> company. Yeah, that's fine. If he doesn't have the, the good profit or maybe the the reward on that situation, uh, maybe they need uh, to cover the low because. In the next paragraph, said that uh, he financial resources include SBA loan. So that's mean like maybe that entrepreneur create a business with a loan. So if he uh, secured the funding, maybe could cover the, that loan. If 
maybe they get a, a bankrupt. Very good. So that's why this is very important. I mean, the most of uh, the people, the most of the entrepreneurs, they do not have the money to start a business, right? So even if they have a very nice idea, something that is going to be very good, they have to to look for money, right? And they go to a bank, they go to a person that wants to invest. Here in El Salvador, we don't have that many, but in the United States, there are companies that they, what they do is that uh, they listen to your idea and they tell you, okay, I'm going to give you the money, but I need this percentage of the profit. You work and I need the money. So that will be it. So that is a very, it's a very important thing. It's a key whenever you want to create a business. Of course, when you do that one, it's because you have researched already. You know that it's going to work. You know what, what you're going to do, how you're going to launch the product. You know 80 or 90% of the things that you're going to do whenever you have the money. The last one okay, is, teacher. go ahead. So now you have to move to U.S. to realize your idea. Exactly. That technology wallet. Definitely. So that is it. I mean, uh, at this point, whenever you go for a loan, you go looking for financial. Uh, I mean, definitely you need to know everything because the bank is going to ask questions, right? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do this other thing? And uh, what is going to happen if it doesn't work? Or, I mean, you need to know a lot of things here. You have right? to create a plan. Exactly. And actually, that is the the plan for, I mean, this the, that's going to be the topic for the next week how to create a business plan, okay? So uh, we are going to also be working uh, in some projects in this uh, module. For example, at the end of this week, you are going to bring an idea. As Imagine that you are an entrepreneur and you are going to do this part. Imagine that I am the bank and you are going to come and say, this is my marvelous idea and I- uh, Sounds I like really a chart tank. <laughs> Something like that, one, right? So <laughs> they're going to bring an idea. It doesn't matter if the idea is not realistic, you know, because it's, it's not true, right? I mean, I am not going to give you the money, right? But um, you can bring and try to express your idea and try to be ready for questions that we're going to ask. So this is going to be a very good exercise that we're going to do at the end of this week by Friday. On Friday, we will be doing that one. So I'm telling you today, and I'm going to remind you Tuesday and Wednesday, you don't have to bring a presentation if you don't want. I know that you're very busy. You just need to have your idea mm -hmm. and come and tell the idea and be ready for questions. Everybody's going to ask you questions about how is this going to work and things. If you have the time and you want to bring one or two slides, it's good, but it's not necessary, okay? It's important the English practice. That is the only thing, okay? Any questions for the break for this Friday? Teacher, I have a question for this presentation. Yeah. What is the difference to use the word venture instead of adventure in the first paragraph? Uh, well, what is a business venture, my friends? Anybody knows? It is the kind of business that you can do with another person mm. or another company, something like that. Yeah, it's a totally different word. So that would ah, be it. okay. I thought it was talking about the risk of starting a, a new business. No, no. It's actually it's a business term. Yeah, it's a new thing that you are going to start, so, something like that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Good. Okay, uh, any questions with the project for this Friday? No, no question. Very good. The last part of the paragraph is also very, very important. The way entrepreneurs file and paid taxes will depend on how the business is set up in terms of structure. Oh, that is a very, very important thing because it's not the same that you are going to set up your company as a variable capital or anonymous society or um, just like the regular ones that go to the uh, market, you know. So there are many structures that you can build this. And you need to know which one is the best for you. That is very, very important. Not only because of the taxes and also uh, other things. Sometimes in the way, I imagine that something goes wrong. And 
the company goes bankruptcy. Uh, sometimes, depending on the structure that you have that legally, uh, then you are going to pay to your uh, dev, to the bank or to the person that you are going to owe money. So that is a very important thing because sometimes, depending on the structure that you are going to create for the company, you don't have to pay anything. And sometimes they are going to come and take your house, your car, your furniture. So that is a very, very important thing that we need to be careful whenever we're going to create a business. Uh, I don't think we're going to check that very in too deep, but this is something that you really, really be careful in case in the future you want to create your own business. This is a very, very important thing. Good questions. Any questions? No, no question. Let's check if I can find some words here. I don't think. What is uh, wealth on the third paragraph? Wealth. Is something the the general money or the general resources of a nation of a company? Uh, there is uh, the world of the, the nation of the institution of the organization. Very good, perfect. That is it. And then it says crowdfunding. What is crowdfunding? I, I think that is something like uh, the the money you get from uh, some associate or or in the case of the uh, service organization or uh, not a. a uh, not lucrative, not uh, non-profit, non-profit organizations. They made some uh, uh, or some events or some uh, uh, kind of get money from people. Very good. So this is about the resources, the financial resources, right? Sometimes when the bank uh, says, uh, "Go ahead." Yeah, I think crowd crowd. Funding is a way to to get your maybe your capital or the yeah your capital maybe or any uh, any amount of money but it's um, collected by people that supports your your project yeah because your project could be a a business idea or maybe uh, uh, for example I, my mom will get a, a surgery so I need money to pay the, the bills or something like this yeah and people goes to your project and give gives a they give you the money a, for example I can give you Ten dollars. Another person could give you one thousand dollars, and uh, if you at the end, uh, uh, okay, this this project has two two key dates. Yeah, the start and the finish date. And if you complete the the amount, the entire amount amount of money that you ask for, you will get the money. If you don't uh, get uh, the complete amount of money in this time, I, I think uh, the money is not uh, give to you. And I think it's return it, return it yeah to the person or to the people who who believes who believe in your project but at the end you you don't uh, get anything yeah so crowdfunding is based on a uh, collect money for any kind of project yeah but mm -hmm. it comes from any uh, any number of person or any number of organizations that supports your idea. Talking about entre entrepreneurs, yeah? Okay, very good. So there actually is something like that. Crowdfunding is that like whenever- Like collect. 
yeah, collect money from other people that but they are going to be part of the, of the company, right? So uh, the most common way here is to have some shares. When you have some, some shares, uh, you get that to the market and people can buy those shares. Sometimes there are limits that sometimes, depending on the situation and the structure of the company, uh, that's the way that's going to happen, that one. So they will be the stakeholders of the company. So it's going to be, it's interesting, you know, this part is interesting because um, people sometimes here in El Salvador, they say, I'm going to have my own company, but sometimes they do not research. They do not know what to do. And at the end, that sometimes only doing that one wrong is going to cause an impact for the company. So it's going to uh, cause a problem with that one. So very good. Uh, let's see if there is any other. I don't think there is any other word. Questions, my friends, before we move on? No, no question. Good. Let's move on then. So, question for everybody. Number one, are entrepreneurs born or can anybody learn to be an entrepreneur? What do you <laughs> think? Uh, I think that mostly it was born, but uh, uh, somebody can learn, can learn. In this time, there are many, many information of how the first entrepreneurs like uh, uh, Henry Ford, like uh, the people of uh, of the gas. Uh, there are many informations, and uh, there was a, a man like uh, I let me. Well, I I me and when I re, I remember the name, this guy paid. And on to another guy for a interview, the the twenty billionaires in the world, Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie uh, hired a man. Uh, <laughs> I uh, start processing in my brain the, the the other name, and they went for twenty years interviewing the. 20 billionaires in the world to get the, the main information, the key information on how to be an entrepreneur. And the, the, in that world or for that world, there was a lot of information that now I, there is manual, there is a many, many information on how to be an entrepreneur. Very good, perfect, thank you. So you are, uh, you have an opinion, right? You say that is most of them are burned but yeah, with all the information that we have available, you can learn. So what other people believe, uh huh? The rest of the class? Well, in my case, teacher, I guess that maybe they born because uh you have to have that um possibility or uh, yeah, that possibility to to think uh new I well could be like new ideas in how to create one one uh, thing to to earn your own money, uh, and also you have to have the the possibility to to realize, and then uh, you need to think the way that you have to maintain uh, to to be in the in the business market. Okay. So that's why I guess that maybe you born uh like with that skill could be okay very good so uh they are burned and then you learn some other things very good yeah maybe uh-huh that's what i see perfect very good what about the other people what do you think are they burned or you learn to be an entrepreneur No more comments. Okay. Have you ever thought of a business idea and then you've seen it developed by someone else? <laughs> that has happened to me many times. I remember, teacher, that at the univers university, uh, I remember that I had a, a class specific of this topic, that entrepreneurship. And I remember that with my group, we had the idea to, to do this kind of um, like a 
beauty truck. Yeah, that was the name, actually, the beauty, like a beauty truck. And I remember that the, the, the teacher told us that that's so expensive, the idea, I don't know. No, please, think in something else. And like four or five years later, I saw that I saw that in elsador.com that idea that these girls are very 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 blah, 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 blah. and I was like I remember that was our idea in uh, the at the university with my friends and for my teacher was like kind of crazy and expensive obviously a very expensive idea because you know it's a truck that you have to equip with with a lot of things and but yeah that happens to us and I remember that uh, the girls um, wrote me in in Facebook we, we talk about that that oh girls you see that yeah that was the idea that we had in, in, in the university it was that happens to us once mm -hmm. okay very interesting and uh, yeah you know it's very sad it's very sad that sometimes some people that we share the ideas with they sometimes they are very negative very pessimistic right I believe that that is a problem that we have not only in Salvador but around the world. Uh, that has happened to a lot of people. A lot of people uh, they have ideas or they want to do something or create something, uh, and then other people says, "No, that is crazy. That is not gonna work." The, the people sometimes they say, "Okay, that is fine and, and not a problem." Uh, some other people they fight for their dreams and sometimes they make it real, then prove the other people that they are wrong, right? So, but that happens. Uh, I believe that instead of that one, we should listen. And I mean, you. what I do whenever come to me with ideas is this. I say, research, do your research. Check about how much money you are going to invest, how much money you are going to charge for the service, for the product. Um, I mean, how will be the production process and many other things, I know, many things. And, and if it's, something that you actually can do go for it i mean give it a shot right um sometimes it's difficult to say this is going to be good or not because depending on many things but it's not good to say it's not going to work so that's something that happens a lot and it's not good but thank you for sharing uh, yourself anybody else wants to share uh, have you ever have this uh, amazing idea but you didn't do it and then you saw that on the TV. Okay, oh, with yeah. uh, a group of people, we were working in a in a kind of a, a virtual medical consultant, and uh, we were working to create the spaces. And uh, two or three years before the pandemic time, and uh, how to handle the these spaces to uh, staff of uh, medical people to to get online online they they, they, they work online you can uh, get uh, medical advice and and get the recipes and all of you need from uh, uh, delivery and we were working in that time and uh, but uh, we have uh, the problem with the with the money we have uh, uh, some technical uh, people that were working, but uh, uh, we lost we lost the the the, uh, the idea that we don't go away. But uh, two two years, uh, the idea was in the market. The idea was it, it, it needs to be in, a, in the pandemic time, get a, a more uh, impulse. I don't know how to say, it. but it was a very good idea. We gave a, a, a flow chart how to to get the 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 cash flow, the cash flow, and we get that this it was possible. But we can do it because we lack of money. But somebody do it. Somebody do it, then it was a very good idea. 
Yeah, that happens sometimes, right? Sometimes, even when you want to do things and then you research and check that everything's going to work, uh, we face that. That's what I was telling you, that the other two things are key. I mean, funding the company, that is key. That yes. is key. And uh, yeah, sometimes the bank, you know, they don't believe in the idea. Whenever you go and look for a loan, they say, I mean, uh, what is your salary? Where do you work, right? I mean, and you say, no, I don't have a salary. I, I want this for me to have a salary. I want to develop this idea so I have money, right? Uh, and it doesn't work like that one. It's not that simple, right? So, yeah, that happens. And that is, that's what I was telling you, that that is key. Uh, yeah, maybe the idea is one of the best. And I mean, maybe it's a change of life. Sometimes it's a risk that we say, uh, I better won't do that one, right? Because you mind that I have a, a loan and then I, I I don't pay for that one. I have, will have problems. And then if the company doesn't work, I mean, there are many things. But that's why, yeah, you, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Very good. Thank you for sharing, David. Hey, Jose Wilfredo, you were going to say something. In my case, not yet. Ah, okay, but you have some ideas, right? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have some ideas, and I thought that one day, well, I'm think that one day maybe will be realized. Yeah, I believe so. I mean, nowadays is is there are many things that you can do. I um, mean, yeah. technology, uh, information is everywhere, so it's a good thing. Yeah, Perfect. that's right. Maybe when I'm retired. Yeah, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I mean it's a, it's never too late. Sometimes the problem is that sometimes at this time we don't have the time, right? So yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is a big problem because you need to invest a lot of time for this kind of thing. Yeah, good, perfect. Thank yeah. you. Anybody else's have have you ever had an idea and then you say, "Oh, I thought that was going to be great." You saw that on TV. That was already a reality. Okay. The next one says, would you like to start your own business? What do you of think? Course. Do you of believe course. it's better to have your own business than to be an employee? Um, maybe, well, in my case, that has advantage and disadvantage. Because uh, if you are your own boss, so you remember you don't want to receive your Christmas bonus. Yeah. But you will have your own time to do some, to do whatever what you want. Just you need to to have a schedule and how to work, and then maybe in that case. So that's why I said maybe that have the disadvantage and advantage. Okay, very good. Actually, you are very right. And I truly believe in that one. I mean, when you are an employee, I mean, you go to work. If the company, they don't have success or anything, you receive your money, right? It's yeah. not your problem. I mean, you do what you have to do and that's it. And you have your benefits. You have your Christmas bonus. I mean, you go home and you don't think about what's going to happen tomorrow. I mean, sometimes, yes, you do, right? But it's, it's not the same. When you are your own boss, you have a lot of responsibilities, not only for you and your company, but the people that are there, right? So you need to solve a lot of problems. Maybe all the problems in the company, you need to solve them. So, uh, But it's also good that, I mean, if it's successful, that feeling when you see that everything is going well, that is amazing, right? It's like, oh my goodness, it's working. And I did that one. I created that one. So, yeah. Teacher. Yep. In, in my case, I have a, a little business, mm -hmm. and I have my work. It's very uh, uh, busy. In my my life is very busy, but it's very nice when you you created uh the you your I don't know how to say. To propio, my, myself, my business, myself, business, I don't know, my propio negocio. 
my own business. Yes, and uh, it's very difficult because you need the much money because in the in the in the in the when you start, uh, you you lost the money, but you uh, uh, win a experience. <laughs> But uh, then in the time, uh, you you can uh, I don't know uh, you can uh, grow up uh, in your business. Uh, right now, I I have a, a medium business maybe because uh, I start uh, five years ago, and right now is very um uh, is is more more i don't know how to say expandiendo yeah it's, it's growing expansion is growing so mm -hmm. and but uh when you you have a problem in your work <laughs> you think sometimes i ah, maybe Tomorrow, don't stay here. <laughs> but uh, my work is important too because I have a, uh, um, uh, I don't know what do you say. Uh, um, I have uh, I. Uh, when when you have, cuando tienes como como algo fijo. Uh -huh, something fixed. Yes, uh, but it's important don't don't have a uh, only one uh, um puente de dinero. I don't know how do you say one income. Yes, uh, in my experience, it's very nice when you have a uh, uh, your business. Actually, that is true. I mean, and I believe that what you do is what the most of the people do here in El Salvador, right? You have your job. And then you have something extra, right? That helps you. And the good thing is, I mean, what you say is very nice because there you have a balance, right? You have your money from your job that you will do for whatever in the house. And the other one is like an extra. Maybe you lose money one month, but the next month, maybe you have double of the income. So uh, that is what a lot of people do. That is true. Yes. And what is your business about? Tell us about that. Right now, I have a uh, uh, party supplies okay. and balloons. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, the uh, the last month, uh, we have with my, my husband, we have a sublimation. I don't know. How do you say? Uh, For sure. Trabajo de sublimación. Yes. Ah, that is a very good thing. I I really would like to have something like that because I love, to, I like, you know, I have a lot of shirts. <laughs> and I like to to put some things that I believe it's a good business, you know. But yeah, you yes. need to know the technique and the machine is kind of expensive. So, but it's a good yes, thing. But, yes. You you need a, a a lot of uh much much money, but uh, for example, my my husband and I start to the sublimation sublimation, uh, the February fourteenth, uh. In the San Valentine's Day, uh, in this in this day, uh, he and I uh, start to the business, the sublimation, and uh, only two months, two weeks, sorry, uh, we win the middle, the the uh, how do you say the uh, inversion, the half of the investment. Yes, in two in two weeks. Imagine, I'm gonna do that. Yes, it's <laughs> very very nice. I am psychology, and I I think that the emotion is the very very nice business. <laughs> For example, the gift or the balloons in the the. Um, For example, birthday and the Mother's Day and some Valentine's Day, Christmas. For example, is the it's more emotional, and the people uh, uh, maybe invest to the the money 
in this in this uh, in this day. Okay. And you you can is is a tip. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You know, there are a lot of a lot of businesses that I mean they are very good. For example, the one that you have there, I mean, for Mother's Day, for some Valentine's, for Christmas, I mean, that is something that you can do all the, all the year. I mean, uh, that is a yeah. good thing, and it's something and, that is. Uh -huh. In the in the old days, uh, the people, uh, uh, it's a birthday day for for much people. Todas las personas cumplen años todos los días. That is true. And mm -hmm. I have a gift for the people, <laughs> for all people. <laughs> that is a good thing. Very good. Nice. Yeah, that is that is something that I believe is the perfect balance, right? I mean. If you yeah. grow in your business enough, you can say goodbye to your job. Uh, but if not, yeah. you can stay with boss and you go there. So I believe a lot mm -hmm. of people, they do something like that. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Any other people? I mean, would you like to start your own business? Or you are fine the way you are? In my case, teacher, Maybe I like the, the way that I that I'm right now. Not I, I think that personally I think that you need to to uh, to have a an spirit. I I I respect a lot a lot um, these these people that 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 start their their own business because it's very risky, very very risky. But at the end you can have. Uh, like like we were talking uh, in the the at the beginning of the class that you can have a, at the end of the of the day you can have what you want or maybe not but the that that um, to have that that feeling that you you want to succeed I respect I love that and but in my case personally I I don't I don't feel that I yeah maybe that's big maybe that's the that that I love maybe my job or maybe that I'm not I can see myself uh, starting a business and yeah I don't have the spirit but I respect a lot that that the people that 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 decide to to start their own business that is true yeah, that's what I was telling you before, right? So it's not for everybody, this kind of thing. So uh, sometimes, and, and you are very lucky because um, to to have a job that you love your job, I mean, most of the people in El Salvador, at least, or in Latin America, they have a job just because they have to, right? So that is it. But if you find a, a job that you are good at it and, and you feel good and comfortable, sometimes it's like, even if you have ideas, it's like, ah, no, that is not for me. Right? So I'm going to stay here because I feel happy. I mean, I don't need any other thing. I realize myself in the job. I'm doing everything that I can. So that is that is a good thing. Very good. Okay. I think sometimes you have a vision and sometimes you are forced to get the vision. There was a story about uh, a man that was, uh, uh, the man that was at the door at the, uh, at the hotel. And for some reason, the, he was fired. And uh, when he was signed, he went to the, to the town and buy some tools that they needed to, to make some uh, fixes in his in his house, and somebody asked uh, him, uh, "Hey, can I get your hammer? Can you sell me your hammer?" Yes, I can sell you. How you pay for it? I pay five dollars. Give me seven, and I I sell you. And uh, they went back another, and they was uh, buying more tools and start to sell the tools, and, and then. Uh, start a business, uh, a, prosper, uh, a business that get uh, um, many rewards to, 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 to him. And they, uh, with the money, they uh, 
built a school because there wasn't a school in the town. And the mayor of the town gave them a, a prize and presented there. The, the, the mayor says, imagine what uh, this man can uh, build without education. And uh, for the, the reason that, we, that he was fighting was because he was not a title. <laughs> What what he he do it if he, he was uh, an education and the man say I was the the at the door of the hotel. Sometimes the the situation push us to do something. Uh, we don't have another way. We are uh, uh, in a situation that we can do another thing, like the people in the. In, a, in the center of the town in San Salvador. Maybe then do, they don't have education. The, the, the only thing that they can do is get something to sell. And uh, sometimes they grow and sometimes no. But sometimes the situation push up to do something. Yeah, that is true. Uh, and here in Latin America, that happens a lot, right? So. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, you're looking for a job and things like that. I mean, and sometimes there are no opportunities. And at the end, you see something there and you say, I'm going to do this, right? Um, I believe that even there, in those kind of situations, the entrepreneurs come. I mean, there are a lot of people that they sell things. But when you are an entrepreneur, you have ideas to improve the process, the product, the quality on the treatment of the people. So... Even there, when they, whenever you have something like that, you can see the difference, right? So there are people that they just wake up and do the same every day after day. And there are other people that they say, no, I'm going to change this. And that is very interesting. That happened, for example, I'm remembering uh, the story about McDonald's, right? So the guy, he bought the restaurant of McDonald's, the, the brothers, and he created a monster. I mean, he had a vision, right? And it's, it was very interesting because he had a lot of businesses that failed. I mean, he was not good at businesses, but he had many ideas and that idea worked perfectly. So he created, I mean, we have McDonald's everywhere in the world, right? So that is a very good thing. Okay, let's continue then. So how entrepreneurship works. Uh, let's see, Marcos Rodriguez, could you please help me reading this one? Okay, how entrepreneurship works. Entrepreneurship is one of the resource economies categorized as integral to production. The other three being land, natural resources, labor, and capital. An entrepreneur combines the first three of these manufactured goods or provide services. They typically create a business plan, pay hire labor, acquire resources and financing and provide leadership and management for the business. What are some obstacles entrepreneurs face? Good. So let's speak about the the paragraph it says how does it work so uh what do you understand on this paragraph okay um okay um uh, i understand that the entrepreneurship is like a set of things of a uh, technique or feature, uh, for example, uh, or or a set of steps. For example, first we need to create a business. Then we have to hire the labor, and then also we have to get the resources and the the money to to do that investment, and then we have to. Uh, like uh, put someone in chair of the entrepreneurship or the project that will be like a leader 
and, and it will be he or she will be in charge of the of the company or the business to manage all the, the processes, the process and the the task. So uh, entrepreneurship is a uh, a uh, A lot of things combined to achieve the goal. Very good. So yes, in my how important is to be an entrepreneur. That is one of the resources economists categorize as integral to production. I mean, the other three are land or natural resources. I mean, we really need a space where to produce or how to run the business, right? The other one is labor, that is, uh, we the people that are the employees. And the other one is the capital, right? The money for you to do that one. But, I mean, if you if you think about this, every, I mean, where you work right now, in the company where you work, there was a person that was an entrepreneur that he said, oh, I'm going to create this company. I'm going to build this company and I'm going to get some money and I'm going to create a plan. So that happens. If you, I mean, if tomorrow when you go on the street on your way to work and you see San Salvador full, full of businesses, all those people are entrepreneurs. Everybody there, they say, oh, I, I, I have an idea and I believe in my idea and I'm going to start doing this. I mean, and they open, sometimes there are companies that are very small, but sometimes there are buildings that are enormous. I mean, banks, towers, that are full of uh, people that are working for that one person that one day said, I have an idea. I have an idea and I'm going to, to research and work for that one and I'm not going to do my best. So every company had an entrepreneur that thought about something and started working on that one. And he got uh, the other three parts of the uh, of the production. So uh, natural resources, labor, and capital. And also here is the way that they work. I mean, they typically create a business plan. That is the first thing. I mean, you start researching, check if that is going to be profitable, and then you create a plan. Once you have the plan, uh, of course, you need to, maybe not in this in this order, because, I mean, higher labor maybe is after you acquire resources and financing, right? So whenever you have the money, to invest in that one, then you hire the people, right? And then uh, you start checking about the management for the business. So it's very interesting. I mean, every company in the world is because somebody had a, an idea. And that we are working for that company, right? Good. Uh, what are some obstacles entrepreneurs face? What do you think? I think teacher that sometimes happens that you have your idea that is very similar or the same that other ideas in the market. So maybe the first obstacle is what is the difference between between your business idea and the others? Uh, what offers you to the clients that is different? Uh, maybe the same good, but what is the difference maybe in the customer experience or something like that? So maybe. Um, an obstacle could, could, could be that that um, sometimes uh, a lot of people have ideas that already exist, but the, the, the goal has to be that what I want and how, how I can do or what I can do to 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 go to the next level with my business that maybe is the same that the, the others but my business has has to to difference in something maybe that that could be an obstacle that you have the same idea but at the same time you have to be different very good perfect actually that is true i mean sometimes ideas come from from experiences that you have for example you go to a store and the product is not good, 
the service was not good. And you say to yourself, right? If I had a business like this, I will do this different, right? So definitely. So one of the things that we need to think about is what is going to make my business or my product different from the other ones. I mean, you can do that one. It's not forbidden. You can have a competitor, right? Have something that is, is going to solve the same need than other products. But of course, you have to think, what else can I give to you, to the customers? I mean, it might be the price. It might be the the quality of the product, color, sizes, many things, or the form. You, I mean, that happens a lot. People they improve. That is a good example on that one. Are for example the cell phones. So, I mean, if you remember Nokia in the past, they were the leaders, right? The cell phones they were amazing, but now, I mean, they are there, but is not that popular as other as cell phones. So other people improved the idea they had. So that happens a lot. Like Blackberry. Like Blackberry. Exactly. Do you remember Blackberry is was a boom in, in some years ago, but now oh nothing is <laughs> not. Um everybody want to 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 have this kind of cell phone it's because uh, only people use uh, business and um, if you don't don't transform don't change your your business uh, you will be you will be that there mm -hmm. and it's necessary to innovate uh, where there are many ideas similar ideas but you, if you, but your own idea in something, it will be different. It, it, is this different? Uh, you will be ground your your own business, I think. Very good. Actually, there is another obstacle that sometimes companies or entrepreneurs face. I mean, yeah, maybe yes. I'm different right now, but I need to change my mind. I mean, I need to be open, so I continue improving right continue you improve. yes. don't continue changing and adapting to the needs that people have definitely you're gonna die right? so the company yes probably is gonna close so that is something something that happens a lot i mean in mind if that happens to huge companies sometimes i mean what uh, we need to well, learn from those experiences right well bastards and now uh, Netflix. That is true. And I was reading that Netflix, they wanted to to be part of Blockbuster. And Blockbuster said, no, my friend, we are a huge company. It's not possible. No, no, but no. Then... It's not a good idea, they say. Exactly. They say <laughs> that is not good. Not, nobody's going to pay for that thing. But yeah. now, <laughs> now we can see that the world is changing and turning, right? So. Yes. That happens. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Steve. Any other obstacle that you can think that entrepreneurs face sometimes? When the, when the idea is new, it is difficult for the people to believe in the idea. That was the problem with the singer. For example, uh, the people don't believe that a machine can do the work that the woman uh, did. To, to source to to see when the the closest and, and uh, this was a problem like uh, the photocopy Xerox photocopy was the same problem nobody believed and uh, it was difficult for them uh, even though Walt Disney Walt Disney had problems because uh, they want to uh, create a, a cartoon movie you are crazy cartoon movie is uh, Maybe five minutes, but the moral time the people don't like it, and nobody want to to give the, the resources and the space and the what did they need to do by himself the 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 movie the, they need to do the drawing for the reason that the first Mickey Mouse is a uh, awful awful is a. Uh, 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 a mouse that uh, like uh, 
nobody obviously they uh, didn't don't have the experience to to draw win, but at the end it was a now it's an a big most <laughs> in the world, and the the people don't believe in that. This is an, an obstacle, a difficult obstacle when you are creating something new. That is true. Yeah, when something is new and is something that is, it's not that common, right? Or I mean, that happens. That happens a lot. I remember that. I I don't know if you have seen the movie, the movie from Queen, when he presented Bohemian Rhapsody. And the producer says, six minutes. That song is six minutes. That is an eternity, he says. And, uh, and the answer was very famous. I, I don't know if that happens exactly, but in the movie says, if you believe that six minutes is an eternity, put of your wife, if you think about that one. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I believe that the, the most, the, the, the biggest obstacle is that one, that you... If you really believe in something, you need to fight. And sometimes you need to fight against everybody, every single person. And the problem is that sometimes it takes years, right? I mean, it's, if you, and that is one of the biggest problems why some people, they, they do not succeed on these kind of businesses because they believe that in six months, everything is going to be fine or, or one year. Maybe for a company that is small, I mean, for a restaurant, maybe, maybe it's going to be like that. But an idea like the one that you were saying that about uh, Walt Disney, I mean, uh, that was that was totally different. I mean, that was totally, totally different. And that's why people say, no, my friend, that, that is not going to work. Why don't you invest money in something else? Right? So, but he really, really believed in that one. And at the end, he proved that he was right. He created all his vision, everything that was in his mind, he was able to create it, right? And right now he's a monster. I don't know if he's the company that he dreamt of whenever he was alive, but right now he's a monster. We cannot argue on that one. So it's it's a very interesting thing. And I believe there are many obstacles. That is That is maybe the biggest one. The biggest one is that people are not going to believe in you. They are going to tell you so many things for for you to stop doing that one. But if you really believe that it's going to work, you need to go for it, right? You need to fight and you need to give it a shot. Sometimes it takes a lot of time. I remember also, I mean, that happens a lot in music. I remember, uh, you know, one of my favorite bands in Spanish is Soul Stereo. And somebody in an interview uh, years ago, they say, you are very lucky. I mean, you are so successful. And the singer says, no, we're not lucky. We practice every day, every day. In Christmas, we practice. In holidays, we practice. We improve, we listen to ourselves, and we, I mean, we fight. We really work on that one. And that's why you, what you need to do. You I mean, that is in everything, because this is something that is very interesting. Being an entrepreneur is not only about businesses. I mean, if you want to improve your life, if you want to learn something, if you want to be healthy, if you want to, I mean, to learn something, you can be an entrepreneur in that part of your life. I mean, you can come and think what will be the plan, I mean, what will be the investment in time, in money and fight, work very hard, and you are going to achieve what you want to do. Nice. Good. Any other comment on this? The, the, the idea of Steve Jones, Steve Jones, think different, is what the slogan, think different. And uh, he was fired from his own company. <laughs> he was fired. It, 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 in the meanwhile, he founded Pixar. <laughs> In the meanwhile, he started doing uh, uh, the, 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 the Toy Story. <laughs> they, they was the, he was the creator of Toy Story. And then he, he sold Pixar for many millions to Disney. And then go back to the, to the company in uh, 
get the company in the age of the, the he sing in the model without the keyboard. The the success of uh, BlackBerry was uh, the keyboard, and Steve Jobs uh, sing in the phone without keyboard. It, all of the phone will be the screen, all of the phone. And uh, the people say, it is impossible. Well, think that, think that. And, and they finally do it, uh, the phone. And there is the, the standard now. The, the phone uh, with all of the phone is the, the screen. See different, what's the slogan? Still yours. Yeah, definitely. And actually, that is a very good example. I mean, in mind how hard he believed in his dream that he created another company and he was successful. But he was thinking, I believe that at night he was thinking about Apple, right? He was thinking about ideas on what to do. And even when he was successful in one another thing, then he said, I'm going to sell this company and I'm going to buy the other one because that is my dream, right? So doing something like that is really risky, but he yes. was very successful. So you really need to believe. And the, the business that is the most important is yourself. So you really need to believe in yourself. Can Whatever you want to do, you can achieve. Yes. Good, my friends. So it was a very nice and fresh start. So uh, do you have any questions before we finish? No teacher. No teacher questions. We now have a dream. <laughs> no dreams. A dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to go to bed. We understand. So we can think about many things there. So uh, we're going to check the attendance. Uh, remember that uh, we will be together tomorrow at the same time at 8. And uh, uh, well, the 101 of today is for Ana Claudia. So mm -hmm. let's check. Um, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Gracias, teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Luis Albert C. Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Perfect. My friends, it was a pleasure to start today with you again, to see you, and um, let's see you tomorrow. Have a very good night and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. 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 Bye. Bye-bye. Teacher, can you put in the WhatsApp chat? What is the, uh, uh, the assignment for the, the assignment for the Friday to have an idea, something like that, to have an idea about uh, an entrepreneurship? Can you write something in the chat, please? Yeah. In the WhatsApp chat? Yeah, of course, I can do that. About that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, teacher. It was Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Hello, Ana Claudia. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm doing very well. I'm kind of sleepy, but I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, I know that this time is very hard, and yeah, it's hard. When, exactly. when we do this every month for years, I <laughs> mean, sometimes it's yeah, yeah, it's hard, but I got to get used to it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I had a doubt. I have a doubt uh, regarding 
the week for the, the Holy Week. So I didn't take because I was late in the at the beginning. But I took note is that the midterm will be for October for I'm sorry, April April 14. Yep. And the final? The 28th. 28th. Mm -hmm. and, and this is taking in consideration the time we're going to rest for the Holy Week. As I understand, yes, because I was checking mm -hmm. the calendar. And since that, if you if you take a, an account on that one, uh, we're going to be together six weeks. So of course, um, uh, my understanding, uh, my understanding is that the whole week on the whole week, we are not going to have classes. Okay. Yeah, we have no, we never have classes the whole week. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's why. That yeah, that's what probably is going to happen. Uh, most likely, uh, the week before that one, we're going to receive a notification, a formal notification from Inglés Corporativo. So you can check it out, but I'm I'm kind of sure that that is what is going to happen. So if you have plans for that week, of course you can go. No, it. just to rest. No, I, I will work. I guess you oh, will work. Yeah, so we work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, we work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's going to be just a rest for for the classes, uh, and uh, yeah, that will be it. I mean, we're going to have a little space there for. For you to rest. Oh, okay. And then after this, we have the advanced, uh, the advanced six, and then we have the course for preparation, right? According uh, as I remember, yes. But let me just verify on that one because I remember mm -hmm. that there are six models on the advanced, and then the preparation for the TOEFL. That is, I guess, is one month. So oh, okay. on that one, uh, I don't know if we will be together, but we're going to analyze resources on that one so we can check and be ready for that. Ah, okay, okay. No, those are all the doubts I had, and and I know that I can ask you whenever I have a doubt regarding to topics. What what I wasn't sure. It, this is the last one. I wasn't sure the new words you want that we look for every week. It will be related to the topic we be we will be talking about. No, no, no. it can be any kind of words whatsoever that you find interesting. You can bring. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Well. Let's try to find different. There are a lot of words that they are so strange, even in the pronunciation. So true, and that's why I'm I'm giving you this homework. In my, if everybody brings two words, I mean, we're going yeah. to learn a we lot. We can learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that will be great. No, nothing. Uh, apart than that, I don't have nothing. I know that I can ask you in class, and if I have a doubt, I will raise my hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely guess... you know that you can also chat uh on on the group chat or also with me directly and of course it would exactly. be a pleasure and, and... and by the way thank you because you answered to my to my friend i don't know what at the end she did i don't know if she it was show presenting the, the documentation i don't know but thank you very much for no it's a pleasure you know uh i was kind of busy and i i hired a company for to check onto that one so uh, they provided me like a quote and I offered her. She said that she was going to do it with somebody else. So that was fine. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But it's something that, I mean, it's, it's very interesting. And the, the problem with that one, that is there are words that are very specific that it has to be exactly the word, right? It has mm. to be like a legal thing. But it was a good thing. Uh, thank you for, for thinking of me. And if you need <laughs> yes, anything in, in yeah, the Yeah, the only person I had in mind. <laughs> Uh, definitely, yeah. It's, uh, in the future, if you need anything and I can help you, of course, it will be a pleasure. Oh, sure. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is all. I don't have nothing else to ask you. Okay, perfect. So if that is everything, let's see tomorrow each other and have a good night. Excellent. Yes, of course. Have a good night too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye.